stop, wait. Where the hell do you think you're running off without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what- Once you... Got it. I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. You ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You check that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here I make the rules, here I decide what happens. It's what you signed up for, right? Okay. Uh, I guess I control him now. Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. Excuse me, sir. It's got a minute or a dollar. Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond F. Get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I heard that one before. Probably from you, too. Different day, different street. Who knows? Maybe we used to know each other. Heh. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Winding up back here again? Damn schizo. Are you effed in the head? Get the hell out of my way. Right, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go through, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. What the hell is this? Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar standing in this end of the barrel? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead, I'll wait. That's right. Aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you say to giving mine a spin? I don't know what's go what this fool smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matters anyway. I want to tell you a story, though, one about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the... The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Or we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time-consuming, doesn't it? Either way, the choice is always yours. Okay, y'all pick. Do I shoot him or do I listen? predictable. I'll see you in another life, my friend. Every story ends. Was this how it was supposed to happen? Uh, okay.
If you won't put that gun down, fine. Talk fast. There are many roads between yours and mine, but all roads start from the source. Ever been dragged to a party by someone? What if that party was life itself, led by the nose, barely wanting to take part? Did you ever have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But what you kn but would you know the opportunity when it knocked? Fair weather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special and important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Whether it was the right choice or not, they're still up for debate. That night, they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Come on, hurry up. Or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes. You know, like the ones I'm telling you about? Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what to look for. Well, just pick someone who's going to do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some F up. The apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay, I love you too. Great party, Larry. Really glad I could make it. Well, I'm glad you're I'm glad you're here too. Did I tell you about this red wine I found? Give me a second, I'll go get some for you. We can toast, it'll be great. Wife says I can't have more than one tonight. Then again, I'm a sucker for a good vintage. Uh maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. Okay, I guess the toast is, if I remember right, is who I pick. Hey Larry, congratulations on the new job. Thanks, it's been a long time coming. Well earned, though. What do you say to toasting? I've got this gin I wanted to polish off. Taking it easy tonight, only one drink. Gin does sound like a good choice, though. Maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. Larry, congratulations, I heard about the new job. Well, there's still a lot to do. Nonsense, let's toast to your success. Can I interest you in some white wine? I'll only be having one drink tonight. White wine does sound lovely, though. Maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. How's your evening going? Oh, Larry. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Is your night alright? Yeah, great party. Just uh, sipping on this bottle of brandy. Did you want some? I promised myself I only have one tonight. Brandy's a pretty solid choice, though. Maybe later. Gussie else is here. Meow. Meow. Mm, nice kitty. Meow. Larry, thanks for inviting me. It's been too long since we caught up. Hopefully next time it won't be so long. Well, while I've got your attention, I've got this bottle of scotch. Wanna help? Trying to keep it slow tonight. One drink only. Scotch would hit the spot, though. Larry man, what's happening? It's all good. Just enjoying the party. Right on, let's celebrate. I got this vodka we can toast. Okay. Well, Larry, great apartment. Ah, uh, the wife picked it out. She's doing well? We should toast to her health. I brought this rum for you. I'm cutting down to one drink tonight, but rum does do wonderful things to me. Hey, happy birthday. Other than the new job, get anything else? Anything from the wife? Do lectures count? Don't bother with that. Live it up. I've got this bottle of bourbon we can toast to. I'm only one with one drink. Later. That food from earlier, where'd you get it? You have to ask Belinda. I've got no idea. You're really lucky to have her. We should toast. Celebrate the night. I brought a bottle of tequila.
Uh, not really. I just finished up what I intended to. Where are you? There you are. Help us settle debate. Dude, he's not going to like it. Are you guys talking about the game thing again? All we want to know is if you'd ever play a game where you might not wind up being the hero. A game where I might not be the hero. Yeah, why not? No, I don't think so. Well, it depends. You guys are weird. Yeah, I mean, why not? I'm up for the challenge. See, I told you people would love it. Oh, that's just one opinion. Plus, Larry doesn't count. So why'd you ask me? No offense. None taken? Hey, Larry, I see you got a cat running around like it owns the place. How'd you... How come you told me I couldn't bring my dog? Firstly, I have no idea whose cat that is. Second, last... Secondly, last time you brought your dogs around, they cornered me and wouldn't stop barking until you fed them those donuts. Mm, donuts. Don't worry, dude. They used to hate me, too. That's because they don't like assholes, Justin. Larry, I think they just can smell your fear. Next time, I'll let them feed them... Let you feed them the donut. Hey, where's the... You're the host of the party, right? Yeah, I am. Can I get you anything? Well, I was wondering if you had any unoccupied bedrooms around here. Uh, I don't think so. Why? Oh. No, definitely not. Oh, never mind. Darkus brought his van anyway. Great. Uh, have fun? Oh, I will. Happy birthday, dude. Hope you don't mind. I brought you a gift. That's really kind of you. Absinthe? I guess it's pronounced absinthe. Good shit, import from France. Well, I'm only having one, one, uh, maybe later. Hey man, good to see you. The party's pretty packed. You don't say. Why don't you take a second toast? Got this bottle of whiskey. Not drinking much tonight, only one. Okay, so... Okay, so who do I pick? Maybe... Nah, not you. What about you? You know what? I'll go with the girl that reminds me from Stardew Valley. At least her sprite, anyway. I'll go with you. Alright, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Always happy to meet a ball... meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on me. I go through his way on me. Woof. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Wait on me. Well, if it is my favorite person in the world, how are you? Shit, Dark Hoof. Don't let Viper hear you say that. She'll be after my head. Speaking of my little she-devil, haven't you seen her? We're supposed to go in and uh, do something. 
No details, please. Yeah, I saw her inside. Right on, thanks for the heads up. Hey, we're best friends for. Get a chance to talk to Larry yet. Okay. Get a chance to talk to Larry yet. I guess this is where I pick a partner. I pick the dog. We'll go the lesbian route. Why not? He's waiting on us. We gotta go through. He's waiting on us. We're gonna toast that bottle we brought. That's amazing. What are you waiting for? This is a perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam were working on. Do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, it'd be kind of pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You will worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, you'll to be drafting forever. I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me, I'll sign it first. Uh, Let's see, who, who do I want to name my character? Eh, yeah, Rose. Why not? Okay, my turn. And you can be, um, I just spell Felicia. Oh, thank you, Perf. Best wishes, Felicia and Rose. Let's, let me see that for a second. Sounds perfect. Alright, Felicia, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Yeah, like, that's gonna last long. I, I only played a little bit of this when I first got it. I didn't get that far. So, Larry, before we toast, let me guess, you've got a book you want to pitch. Just hear me out. No need, Rose. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to put a good word in with the boss, see if we can get you in advance. That's... that's crazy. Seriously, thank you so much. I'll get, some, get you something to show him in the morning. This is so exciting. Let's toast. To ambition, to success, to getting rich, I'll toast to world domination. Uh, let's see, to great partners, domination, the future, not screwing up. There's gonna be a lot of screwing up, so we're good. Nah. To the future, world domination. It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed to hear, though. Would this be the one? Yes. I'm guessing that's just confirm everything. One year later. Choice is an evaluation of cost and benefit. Circumstance dictates that evolution. 
Consequence takes care of the rest. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. What time did I get in last night? Shit, looks like my people's sleep monitor got reset. I gotta get some sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month. Cir Circadian Master Sleep Sleep Achievement? Let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. There we go, all set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. Probably not a good time to sleep. Been wearing the same clothes since college, why change now? Think I like what I'm wearing for now? Dirty clothes are at least my concern. Turn off the lamp. No. Bunch of old nasty, dusty books I'll never read. No, that's where I put that dollar. You found one dollar. Nice. Couch has seen better days. Nice, I still got those pizza pouches left. Place the microwave for two minutes, like cool 30 seconds, sure beats the eating of frozen. Hey, Bizarre. How long should I set it for? Two minutes. Something trail. If you ask me, Clement's quest was best part. That almost reminds me of zombies to Canada or something, but used to play perf. Yep. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I, I didn't... Okay. I didn't know I could actually do that. Yeah, exactly. Another day in the life, I suppose. Take a shower, yes. Refreshing. Looks like there's a few notes under my door. Tenant of apartment 104, your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, with the, this balance must be paid immediately or you'll be evicted at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is $500. This entire balance must be paid immediately to avoid further action. This is a serious matter and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney fees. Your credit rating may also be affected. Please speak with the billing management as soon as possible to avoid further issues. Sincerely, manage management. 30 days overdue. Pay up. Deadbeat. It's always something, isn't it? Come to see if you wanted to get coffee before work at the Phoenix but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouch for you, and my manager hates slackers. Well, at least I got a job for today. You grabbed your apartment key. You grabbed your bank card. Lamps don't work. Billy's a joke. May as well take a look. Oh, dear.
What a lovely fake cactus. Management can't even for real flowers. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Sure. Where is it? I know it's in here. Excuse me, Miss Toaleager. Oh, pardon me, Rose. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There's never enough time in the day, you know? I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to. Heck, I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. I seriously think I'm done for this time. Where's your roommate? Things uh, didn't work out, it's just me now. That's a real shame, you're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come to my place later today? I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have some help. Thank you. Thank you for the offer, I can use all the help I can get. Well, you know where to find me. Just come by any time today. Don't wait too long, or I'll, I'll get it all done by myself. Have a good day, Rose. I hope to find what you need. I wonder what she's up to. Oh, Grandma! Okay. Uh, always sometimes monsters. Cheap ass landlord. That light's been a problem for months. No, it... It's not. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. I might be able to slip out here undetected. No, you won't. Open box. Look inside the box. There's nothing in here. There's some pretty unremarkable plastic flowers. Hold it, you monkey punk. You really think the I wouldn't notice you just because the lights are off? I had that clap on clap off thing installed last week. Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you going to pay me what you owe me, or am I going to have to toss your ass out to the curb? You're serious about evicting me, huh? Give me time. I just need some time. I've been waiting on a check from my publisher. As soon as it arrives, I can pay you. Look, the check's going to be here soon. It's gotta be here soon. Just give me until the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care where you got... To... I don't care where you've got your... to set your... Ahem, taco stand. You're out of time, senorita. Pay me $500 by the end of the day, or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. Are you going to give me that key or what? I know you've got it in your pockets. You really want me to hand over my key? I'll give key. Fine, I'll... I think I have it on me somewhere. Come see me when you've got the money and I'll let you back into your room. See you later, deadbeat. What an effing asshole. 500 by the end of the day. I can do this. I've already got work from the Phoenix or I can go help Miss Tallywagger. Time to get to work. I really don't want to get evicted. Town. Hey Rose, what's going on girl? I'm good, Bellinger. Hang around like usual, I see. I've got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Sounds productive. Well, I gotta hustle. My landlord wants 500 by the end of the day and I don't know how I'm going to get it. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke so I can't help you with cash. I did find this rare indie heroes figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. It's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off, or you can try to get all 60 of them like me. 
station wagon. Thanks, Belly. At this point, anything helps. If you ever get lost, come see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. Hey, their name's Nigel. Do you work here? Uh, no. I kinda just walked in. I've been looking for the guy that runs this place. I heard they got a neat little game idea they've been making. Yeah, I can't help you with that. I'm just passing through wandering into... And wandering into any building I can. They're probably down at the coffee shop. There's one thing that's certain in life. It's the game developers love coffee. I mean, who doesn't like coffee? Me. I don't like coffee. Come here, kitty. RoboCat from Vagabond Dog hit arcade game. Hello there, fine lady. Uh. Have you seen those dog wanted posters around town? I don't know much about them, but they say that you can get top dollar for bringing strays in and off the streets. I should try to find that dog some food. to be open. Uh, still my pen. Welcome Rose, can check in balance. $13, withdraw. 13 Do you any flowers or produce today? Let's see if the one dollar works. Let's save. I know the dog gives me something if I give him Hey there little doggy. How are you doing girl? I brought you some food Hey girl, just come closer now Looks like the dog picked it up Lock of the dog was where he fell off
some meter what okay I don't want food so I'm kind of curious what all this is about hey there's a gas leak so I can't let you pass should be cleared up in a day or so. Sorry, lady, there's gas leak or something getting fixed down the road. The whole area is filled with tutorial tutorialium? Tutorialium? What the Okay, whatever. I like reading the daily news times every morning, but I only read the comics or horoscopes. Probably need some fishing gear if I want to catch any fish. You know what? I'm going to go help the lady. First. For me to help him. It's not like she could use my help. Should I ditch help my day helping her clean instead? I want to help, but I don't want to let. Okay. Well, I said I would help her, I just never said when I would show up, so I don't feel too bad just leaving her like that at the moment. Lucky fountain. Hey girl, you admiring my ride? Yeah, it's a pretty sweet truck if I say so myself. Maybe we can take it for a spin together sometime. <laughs> Yo, hit me up later, I gotta go. Hey, hey, welcome to Dirty Don's Popcorn Stand, where I sell fresh popcorn and absolutely nothing else. So the popcorn trick? So have you ever heard of the popcorn trick? It's where you take a big bag of popcorn and you cut a hole. Whoa, the popcorn trick? Let me stop you right there. Dirty Don invented the popcorn trick. In fact, it used to be called Dirty Don Maneuver. What happened? Why the name change? Man, it's a long story. Let's just say there was a year-long legal battle with Dirty Sh Sanchez guy, so I was forced to rename it the Popcorn Trick. Well, if you think about it, the name actually makes more sense now. Yeah, yeah I guess you're right. Thanks, kid. You made my day. So, uh, you sell anything else? I just told you, I sell popcorn, nothing else. Get lost, kid. I guess I could eat some popcorn, I'll take a bag. Uh, what? No, I don't have any popcorn for sale today. I'm, uh, I'm all out of right now. What? Why do you have a popcorn stamp if you don't have to sell popcorn? You don't ask too many questions, you know that? Yeah, welcome to Dub's Dick's Pawn... Plus, take a look around. Yeah, something like that. See the world of blocks. Well, 
allows you to see reality in the most stunning picture quality possible. Can't seem to catch a break with that blasted lotto machine over there. I must have lost at least a hundred by now, but you gotta spend money to make it. What lotto machine are you talking about, dude? The one over there beside the ATM. Welcome to Big Lotto. Insert winner. No winning scratch card inserted. That's the NPC. Did you post it? And it picks. Did you post it where? Can't help but wonder if there's another person out there as miserable as I am. Maybe we'll find each other someday. You just gonna browse all day or what? Pressing the wrong damn button. Hey, you there. Are you talking to me? Come over here for a second, would you? Is there something I can help you with? Straight to the point, right. You look like a savvy investor. Have you heard about sandwich futures before? Can't say I have. So sandwich futures are a way to invest in, well, sandwiches. Every day the price changes depending on market conditions, homeless shelter population rates, and other factors. The idea is buy low and sell high. If you're smart about it, you'll have the potential to make a pretty penny. Sounds interesting, I guess. Not only are sandwich futures fun to own, but if you do happen to get mugged, the downtrodden low lives usually don't think to grab a sack of anything but cash. So in a way, you're they're always a good way to hide cash and stick it to the fat cats at the bank. Thanks for the advice. Right, well I need to head off to my hot yoga class. You can buy, sell, and sandwich futures at any of these handy terminals found at any bacon barn. Happy sandwich investing. Uh, current value 18. How can I bacon your day? Uh... Okay, I already talked to you. It's the Trash Pandas. You found a hero's figure number 8. Name Zombies. Origin Organ Trail 2010. Maintenance or something. Rooming house. Um, empty boxes. Six pizza boxes. I could go for a slice. Someone's having a party. Number 36. Named Jin Dragon Hearts 2013. No business. Nothing for me here. Door is locked. Hey, cutie. You look like a girl we, with good taste. What do you think of my new dress? Cost me a fortune, but I think it's hot. Looks great. Yeah, looks great. Definitely worth the money on a body like that. 
Oh, I like the way you talk. Name's Haley, by the way. So, um, I was looking for someone to do me a favor. I don't see why it couldn't be you. Well, that all depends on what you need. You know Dirty Don over by the pawn shop? Harry's got these tabs, happy pills, I think he calls them, that make you feel like you're having the most orgasmic sex with... Okay. Sounds intense. If I give you 50, could you go pick some up for me? I know it's silly, but I don't want to lose my place in line. Uh, deal. Alright, deal. How many pills should I ask for? I should buy you 10 pills, so bring them all back. I might even share with you if you party later. Sounds easy, I'll be right back. Wait, there's one more thing. Don's got trust issues. You're gonna need this. Sealed envelope. Uh, what's that? It's just a little message from me to him. You know to prove you're cool and not a cop and all that, right? Well, obviously. Keep it sealed until you see him or he'll be suspicious. When you get there, open it and read it out to him. Simple stuff. Gotcha, you have fun with in line. This is the hottest club in town. I've been lined up all day long. I'm not moving for anything. I have a lot of good memories here at the Phoenix. Dacus should be waiting for me inside. Maybe I'll see what Miss Tallywanger is up to. Sometimes I wonder if my anger is masking any inner human feelings. Then I look at you and it reminds me of why I hate this world so damn much. Wow. Cookie Factory. Uh, those are- get lost. Okay. Those were some eyes. Crusty Cream Coffee Shop. Okay, why not? Dude, did you see that crazy guy pacing outside? He's like here every day. We should put him in the game. Invest in a sandwich. Dude, we're here every day. We should put ourselves in the game. Whoa, meta. Dude, we just can't have a tutorial that explains how to play the game. That's not how life works, man. They won't get the message if we spoon feed them. Alright, if you say so. All I'm saying is that it might be a little more, you know, fun if people actually know what they're doing. We could get across in metaphors, man. Metaphors! Hey there, we just put a fresh pot on. Can I get you a coffee or anything else? Remember, the cup's got a chance to win a prize. What's the prize? Chance to win a prize with every cup, you say. What's the prize? Another cup of coffee! Of course. That reminds me of those buy one, get one, um, free Pepsi, uh, bottle cap contests. That used to go on back in the day. Regal Hallway. I don't think he was home. Nobody seems to be answering the door. Hero 40. Postal dude. Postal 2. Looks like someone's moving out. Bunch of teal foxes. I wonder if someone's moving out. Trash can. Nothing in the trash can. Pick flowers get made. Okay, I guess that's up here. Trash can. Whole magazine about aquatic agriculture or something. It's called Boats and Hose. Oh. <laughs> what is with the names? Hey there, pretty lady. Got a second to invest in a sandwich? I'm trying to focus on a sandwich. I haven't eaten in at least four days. Sorry, no. You know what? You can have a sandwich. Here you go, pal. 
for a sandwich on the house. Hey, thanks a lot. If a man voluntarily gives his will to another and the recipient must now make choices for both, who's truly the slave and who's truly the master? Hey, I gave you a sandwich already. Welcome to Daily News Times. I can only help you if you have an appointment. Eh, that might be a problem then. I'm really sorry about those are the rules. If I let you back there without an appointment, I could be fired. Sorry to bother you. Excuse me. You need an appointment to get back there. Eh, that might be a problem then. I'm really sorry about those are the rules. Blah, 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 yes. Golden City Arcade, eh? Looks like an opening pretty soon. Okay, where's the... I think it was this... Yeah. Robocat. Post-it note, Justin. The combo to the safe is 217-12544. Don't do anything stupid like toss this note in the garbage. Destroy it. Jake. Okay, perfect. Uh... Two one seven one two five four four. Home bank groceries fast fast travel. Club on. What the hell are these guys working on? That crap looks like crappy dog has been permanently disabled. 48. Marvin, gods will be watching 2014. 2, 1, 7, 1, 2, 5, 4, 4. <laughs> Should I look inside the safe? Uh, I opened it, didn't I? I know it's attached to a small stack of bills. Hey man, $50 all we have to make the game. Consider our starting budget, Jake. Take money. Hello money. I'm sure nobody will miss you. Wait, what? Uh, I bought it. Error, error. Game always sometimes monsters does not exist. Attempting to reboot system. Load 8. Reboot failed. Attempting alternate failsafe. Play beep A. Go to 10. Reboot failed, attempting to clean cartridge contents. Wait, what? Okay. Load. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do the thing this time, but we won't take the money. So, two, uh, two, one, seven, one, two, five, four, four. I better leave this here. Broken water cooler. What kind of company has a broken water cooler? Low rent indie hipsters. I thought these things were supposed to have good ideas on them. Rat piss. Straight from the. S Ew. No. It looks like some sort of game testing area. I bet the game is easy. Tighten up the graphics in level 4, tweak the audio in level 6. Nope. Yep, nope. Hey, hey.
I got this envelope or something from this girl I'm supposed to be seeing you for. Well, what are you waiting for? Open it, damn it. You open the sealed envelope. It says... Well, go on, read it. I like big butts and I cannot lie, you other brothers can't deny that when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face. Well, buddy, that's enough. You don't have to sing the rest of that song. I know why you're here now. What the hell was that? Oh, all my orders come as hip-hop lyrics. Helps keep the cops from figuring things out. Sounds like you need some happy pills. Now what do a girl need happy pills for? They're for a friend. I need $50 worth of them pronto. No problem at all, just think... Just thinking though, how would you like to save 30? Same number of pills and everything. The math doesn't add up, what's the catch? Oh, nothing shifty or anything like that. They're just local artisan pills. Made from lo these eco-friendly toxins. I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure that toxins aren't all, all that safe for human consumption. Yes, but I also said eco-friendly. It totally balances things out. Well, I guess that makes sense. So will be, loyal patron. Spend $50 to get what you asked for, or spend 20 and save the whales? Oh. Do we save the whales, or do we get the drugs? Oh, shit. <laughs> really? Give me the good stuff or I'll save the whales. Uninstall. Oh, come on, Bizarre. I'm not going to knowingly give somebody poison. I'll take the good stuff. I don't know how my friend feels about whales. Well, teach their own, I suppose. So, did you get the stuff yet, honey? I want to try a happy pill before the show. Yeah, I got you the good stuff. You're gonna be tripping balls for sure. Oh, I feel all warm and fuzzy. I want to touch you all over. Why don't you take the spare key to my flat? Maybe you could get something after the show. It's just across the street so you can't miss it. I'll think about it. Don't keep me waiting though. I want to tear into you. Rawr. Keep for next door. Now well, this key fits, but the deadbolt's on. Someone there? Maybe they're sleeping or something. I'll come back later, I guess. Okay. Oh, lady, we ain't open yet. Excuse me? I said we're closed, woman. We're expecting a crew. Where's Derka? Look, I'm working here today. Is Derka around? You're the ditz that everyone's been waiting on, then? Derka's in the main room, so I'd get my ass over there if I were you. I'll just stand here and watch you from behind. And I'll slap you in your bright cue ball head, too. Have fun working while I sit here and flex my big 22-inch pythons. Um, I guess I go this way. Okay. And the dead rise. You're late, too. Did Benny give you any trouble at the door? No, he let me right through. Some bouncer he is. Have you been... You pumped for the show? I'm nervous. You look like a young version of what, um, oh, what's it? 